Hello, my name is Vicky Sowry and I'm Director of ANAT, which more recently was known as the Australian Network for Art and Technology. I'm speaking to you today from Ghana land in South Australia, continuously inhabited by Aboriginal people for tens of thousands of years. ANAT acknowledges and respects Ghana elders past, present and future. And ANAT recognises First Nations people as our first artists and scientists. For over 30 years now, ANAT's brokered opportunities for artists to work with science and technology partners. We do this because we believe that artists are essential to how we shape and imagine our future. Early last year, we integrated a top level program, ANAT on Country, which foregrounds indigenous led and an artist-led research into land, sea and sky country. In particular, we were interested in enabling artist engagement with the challenges arising from inappropriate land management and climate change. And at On Country is delivered through our core programs as well as through new initiatives. And today I'll be introducing the program to you by focusing on the first ANAT on Country Art Science Residency, which took place last year between artist Dr. Sarah Jane Moore and scientist Dr. Laura Parker, two formidably smart and talented First Nations women. But first I'd like to turn to a personal anecdote. I was born and raised in Aotearoa, New Zealand, that little country at the bottom of the world. I grew up on the southern coast of the North Island, learning to sail on the second roughest body of water in the world. It was wild, rugged, new country, sharp and jagged at the edges. And then in the late 1980s, I came to Australia, a continent, a land so old, it's as if it holds time itself. Every stone, every mountain, every coastline, the product of weathering over ages, everything rounded at the edges. It felt so alien to me. And for the first 10 years I lived here, I only felt able to skim across the surface. I was unable to feel grounded, connected to this strange and ancient land. My first deeply ironic and retrospect way into understanding this land was through another white immigrant, the German explorer, Ludwig Leichhardt, whose fateful exploits in the first half of the 19th century are captured in Patrick White's acclaimed novel Voss. In the many years since reading Voss, I've learned so much more about this country, about its first peoples, its violent and complex history, and the challenges that it will continue to face until it's able itself to face up to this history. I didn't learn this from history books or other books written by white men and latterly white women. I learned it from reading and listening to Aboriginal leaders, to my colleagues and my friends. If this country, Australia, is to survive, let alone thrive in coming years, it must urgently listen to and prioritise First Nations knowledge on country. So returning to Annette on country, and the work of singer, songwriter and artist, Sarah Jane Moore, who has worked with partners from non-arts disciplines throughout her career, initially with a focus on early childhood education. In 2018, Sarah Jane met Indigenous Scientia Fellow, Dr. Laura Parker, a Wiradjuri biomarine scientist based at the University of New South Wales who was researching, measuring and mapping the impact of climate change on oysters. Meeting Laura and hearing her dire predictions about the plight of Sydney's rock oysters, known in local language as Belladuri, inspired Sarah Jane to contact Laura. Their early conversations prompted Sarah Jane to, re to reorient her practice, to embrace arts activism and arts for change. So in March 2019, Sarah Jane and Laura were awarded, again, the inaugural Annette on Country 
art science residency to undertake intensive practice-based research to expand and interpret existing knowledge about the Belladari. Throughout and since their residency, they've regularly disseminated their work through studio-based talks, presentations to the university research community, through publishing academic and policy papers, exhibiting the resulting artworks and posting about their research through social media and online. Sarah Jane and Laura have continued their deep collaboration since the end of the residency last year and will be working together over the coming year on a project called Wilding with Oysters, whose theme emerged from their work on Waramai country in the Port Stephens region, which is where the UNSW uh, labs are based. Wilding with Oysters will include exhibitions, lectures, conversations and workshops to bring the story of the Belladuri and the threats it faces, ocean acidification, pollution, overfishing and river ocean warming into sharp focus. It is worth pointing out here that in Sarah Jane's work, the Belladuri can be seen as an analogue of the ongoing impacts of colonisation on Australia's First Nations people, a palimpsest capturing the sediments of change year after year, layer upon layer. In their work, Sarah Jane and Laura are digging, both literally and metaphorically, into the cultural, political and environmental contexts that have resulted in the two century long decline in oyster population health and distribution. Conversely, their research is focused on identifying and enabling environments and contexts that best foster growth, that embrace sustainability. Sarah Jane's work with Laura, each an expert in her field, speaks to the urgent need for healing that has arisen from disconnection to country in Australia. Integral to their work last year is Sarah Jane's song, I know where the oysters lie, which she describes as a storying of the loss and sadness of oyster heritage in the early years of white invasion. She goes on to say, it is vital to, for us to honour the unspoken histories of our underwatery dreams. I wrote this song in 2019 in Sydney, Australia, to weave a science art research story. It maps the importance of the Sydney rock oyster, the Belladuri, to our well-being, our sense of place, and our notions of old time. The oyster is a poignant image of purification, of ocean and estuarine health, of cultural legacy and currency. But before I close, I would like to thank the organisers of ISEA 2020 for this opportunity to, to introduce an add on country to you in spite of the pandemic. Having delivered ISEA in Sydney in 2013, I can only imagine how challenging this must have been. And to you, wherever you are, whichever country you find yourself on, thank you for taking the time to watch my presentation. If you'd like to know more about ANET, visit our website at anet.org.au. And I'll leave you now with Sarah Jane Moore singing her song, I Know Where the Oysters Lie. Thank you very much. Stuck in stones, 
and split and left for dead. Oyster bay, oyster bay, broken shells and clams not fed. Chaos country, sea birds fled. 